Uh, I should probably announce it on my Discord as well. Uh, in fact, I should get the web page here. JSAP 1982. Yes, Real Sim Gear, very, very generous to sponsor that giveaway. start my descent so I'm going to put in an altitude of 8,000 sure and then do a uh, vertical speed bring back the uh, torque No, it's it's not in the same it's not in the same league. I agree with that. Yeah, I wish the lights would come on here. Hopefully that that gets updated. But it's not one of those things that I'd have to have in order for it to be released, so I'm enjoying the plane so far. I, I like it so far. Yeah, Tommy Live put some good truck and screenies in there for sure. That was fun. Is the manual already available? Um, I'm assuming there's a, a manual in the folder. But I could be wrong. Hmm, nope, there's no... I can't see a documentation folder yet. All right, we're going to turn at uh, Lappin here in one and a half miles. Oh, there it is. On it's a. Uh there is a manual on the org forums. Oh, okay, cool. There's the turn at Lappin. Man, Fuzzy Bear did such a great job on this plane. Thank you, Fuzzy Bear. Seriously. This is a uh, Snack Air owned King Air 350. There's Vegas. Yeah, it didn't calculate our altitude correctly, but. So we're going to buzz over Vegas. There's the manual. Cool. I think it will be an FSE workhorse. Yeah, I mean, the P3D version has been a workhorse on FS economy for a while, right? So there's the manual, so I need to bookmark that. Yeah, I'm going to study that bad boy. By the way... Um the there's kind of a, a a a historic event happening today there is a, a women's tournament at augusta national today where the uh women the the worldwide women's uh amateur championship is being played at augusta national the week before the masters they played a course starting on wednesday and they cut the people whoever made the cut 
get got to play Augusta National today. So um, that's kind of exciting. It's the first time they've allowed a you know a female tournament. I do hope that they extend the invitation to the LPGA at some point, but not in April. Maybe maybe in May or maybe even uh, September. I don't know. But I hope the LPGA can 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 fly there. El Gargantuan howdy doody. You've started your FSE career flying this plane with the 2D panel back in X-Plane 9. Very cool. How's Garg today? 350, 14 passengers. Yep. It's how you build out your fleet. So you have the P3D version of this. Who makes, is it Carinado that makes the P3D version of it? Carinado, cool. All right, well, I am way high, so we're going to have to circle around to get down to destination. But it's always fun to fly over Vegas at 12,000 feet. Staying away from the Bravo. Because the... The pro line FMS system is not that great, really. I, yeah, the, there's a, f yeah, this is just default FMC. I kind of wish we're gonna we're gonna test to see if it couples with a GTN, a two two dimensional GTN 750. It may couple with. I don't know though. We'll find out. What's your what's the over under on it actually coupling with a GTN 750? How do they handle the locker rooms? I don't, that's a good question. All right, there's the turn at the Las Vegas VOR directly below us. By the way, I have footage of the Las Vegas VOR. Um, on that flight I did in the real world in that Lear in that Learjet. We drove right we taxied right by it and there's Vegas I played I've played that golf course before that's uh ba Bally High it's fun to watch planes you can pull off on the side of the road right over here and watch the planes land Brad, the King A, the King Air is pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right. Let's go sync up our heading bug. I wonder if this will work with my SciTech multi panel. Let's go heading mode. Sure enough, it's working with my SciTech multi-panel. I'm able to change the uh, the heading. That's cool. Twitch is stable now. My brain is is buffering though. I need caffeine. Yeah, yeah. Come on, fly Tampa. Port o Port over Vegas. Earn some bacon. Yep. Yep. Earn the bacon. Bring back my torque.
They said it's going to release this month for P3D, though. Not for X-Plane. Right? Oh, there's a TFR over Vegas right now. What VIPs in Vegas? All right, I need to be at uh, 5,700 at Jack 6. Jack 6. Oh, 8,000. I need to reset. Set set altitude 5,600. Set altitude 5,600. Set altitude 5,600. Altitude 5,600 feet. No, it doesn't reset it. That sucks. All right. Uh, vertical speed... Trump is in Vegas and SoCal. Oh, okay. Eric, the plane's great. Yeah. There's a few things that I would like for it to incorporate in future updates, but it's just I, I need to figure out a few of the procedures for the startup. Um, and I'd like for them to incorporate a GNS uh, 430 or 530 or GTN 750 into the panel instead of the default FMS. Um, I'd also like to see um, my plane command, voice command, work with the altitude. But I really, that's all wish list stuff. It's definitely going to be a workhorse for, as someone here in chat said, for, for uh, FS economy. Yep, for sure. You're about to go play nine. I wish the weather was good enough for me to go play nine sometime today. All right. All right, let's go land at Henderson. Why would it have me at uh, 5,700 at Jexic? Because that airport is like way high up there. That's crazy. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to go out that way and then come in. Okay. You hit a bird and we also saw a raccoon. Nice. Where'd you play? You're thinking about breaking out the clubs today. Are It's 70. It's 70 in Boston today, huh? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, there's the airport we're going to land on. The wind is, uh, it's, there's, it's very calm, actually. But we are going to do the uh, RNAV uh, GPS-B into Henderson. Runway uh, 35, it looks like. Yeah. What's that noise? Does it want me to put my gear down? Because of the speed? Yep. Taking your son out to the driving range? Nice. Gear horn. Big old gr red thing too. I doubt it will couple the approach, but we'll, we don't know. It won't because it's not doing VNAV, so. 
All right, I'm gonna put it in some floppies. When I typically will say get in your landing rates, that means I'm on final. Typically. Anyway. Anyone uh, convinced so far that they they're gonna buy this today? I know a couple of you already have it. You've been helping me out today, so thank you. Yeah, it's out. Yep. Came out yesterday. Maybe not right away, but next time I'm itching for a new plane, I will consider it. Yeah. You flew out of one Monday? Like a real one? Just bought the DA-62. So you have to wait a little bit. There you go. Tar will save up. You're waiting to see how long AFL takes to address some launch bugs. Uh, yeah, there's a few things I'd like to have changed. I I guess, first and foremost, try to get lights on the 2D pop-ups. Would, would you guys agree with that? Try to get lights to show up on the 2D pop-ups, or is there, would you prefer another change or fix first? Oh, you flew out of a golf cart on Monday. Ah, okay. <laughs> I get it. All right. Let's start the turn. You agree with the lights and the 2D pop-up? The AP in this plane isn't that great for spot for simulation flying. It would be really nice to have. Yeah. I don't know how difficult it is to get lights on the 2D pop-up, but... Alright, so let's see what happens when we hit approach mode. Oh, snack. Nope. Back into heady mode. So it wanted to go back down to hack it. Yeah. I wonder if we go direct to execute that and then hit approach. Huh? Yeah, it wants to turn back around. Let's try this. I'm going to see what happens when we try this. We're experimenting. Good thing we own this plane. Rather than renting someone else's on FS Economy.
Okay, it is turning in. There we go. Sorcerer Dave, good to see you again today. How you doing? B2, you think it's too close to the B200? Um, is the passenger load different? A couple passengers load uh, different, I think. Huh? Is the B200 as fast or... All right, there we are. Let's see if it's... I don't think it's going to do the old glide slope, but it could. That'd be crazy if it does. Ashman Media, how you doing? Good weekend to you. Oh, I think I need to reset my... Uh, Yeah, no, it's not following it. It's armed, but... Negative on the follow. All right, let's set up our barrow, which I should have done before. Oh, it is following it. No, that was just a barrel change. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no. It actually is following it. I'll be danged. I'm going to bring my torque back. Seriously? Is it really doing this? Yippa, yippa, andale. Short final. Get your landing guesses in now. Use the predict command. All right, we got full flaps. One thousand feet to minimums. Uh, cam, cam. Just make sure that you make enough money to pay for the rental and the fuel. I wouldn't fly more than a couple hundred miles at most, with at least f four or f maybe three or four or five passengers, at least, right, guys? It's taking me down to Chinatown. Although we're coming in really hot. 200 feet to minimums. Yeah, we're coming in hot. 100 feet to minimums. And my engines are idle. Minimums. Yeehaw! Coming down. Coming down the mountain when she comes. We're going around. I think we're going around. Pumps full. Pumps full. That was a bounce. <laughs> I didn't feel like going around. That's that's the curse of um that's the curse of FS economy, right? Is you don't want to go around. No approaches too fast with two giant reverses. Those reverses actually did help out quite a bit right then and there. I'm not going to kid around on that. Petri, Ron, you got it? Oh, it gave me a 33. <laughs> They're basically random number generators. Yeah, I would agree with that. Thank you for flying. Bye-bye. All right, let's check the log. Wasn't the most pretty approach, but Sorcerer Dave got it. I'll give Sorcerer Dave some as well. 
333 just yeah what happened to the nose gear uh i don't know didn't look like anything happened that i can see uh okay so income 6752.43 minutes it's our aircraft so we didn't pay any rental um the ground crew fee was six seventy five, booking fee seven forty two. Uh earnings this flight fifty three thirty four, paid to snack air twenty six thirty, and paid to pilot twenty seven oh four. Yeah, I did did I get a did I get a direct message yet on the I didn't. You guys need you golf players need to keep me on my uh on my toes for those those skins you know what i'm going to do the next time we play golf i'm going to um run fly john while we golf yeah yeah it's a a new fse plugin from uh b2 here in the chat room b2 makes this new fse plugin it's a third party plugin it's amazing you want to see that horrible landing again, spiffy all right fine Uh, there is a there is a skins calculator. I know that D Money's won most in the first round, and then Dogo won just a little bit on uh, like four four th three skin or sorry three two four six hundred I think on the second one. Yeah, there's the golf skin calculator. Well, all right, uh, replay. Here we go. This is a very very steep approach. Oh, look at the uh, re look at the uh, look at the altitude. Forty-two-two. Two hundred feet to minimums. One hundred feet to minimums. Minimums. I like the pilot callouts. Right now it's for snack air pilots, Peachy Ron, but B2, um, well, I, I'll let him answer, but maybe others are testing it as well. Yeah, we, we definitely bounced. Yeah, the next one will be a little softer. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the sounds aren't too bad. No. Yeah. Hey, Camro. Yeah, I like the King Air a lot. There's there's a few things that we need to have it changed, but in fact, I'm gonna do a quick. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick uh, test of it. Let's see if the GTN works. Time to cut some grass. You'll be back. You're still on. Yeah. Enjoy the grass cutting. All right. I'm going to quickly take off, and then we're going to test the uh, the GTN 750, which I don't know if it'll work, but 
right? Put some flaps down. Hey, flying chappity. Thank you for joining. See ya. I like it. I like the plane. <laughs>